Hey guys, in this video, let me share you how to reset this IQ TWS One E. And if you are using the Vivo TWS recent launch 3E model also, the process will be same. Well now if you are facing any connection related issues or only the left or right earbuds is pairing means by doing the reset process the problem will be sorted out. So for that firstly you need to unpair these earbuds from your Bluetooth settings. Just go to the Bluetooth setting in your smartphone and just unpair it. And if you are already connected in multiple smartphone means unpair it from all the devices you are previously connected. And after that better turn off the Bluetooth as well. Now just close the charging case door one time and after that again open it. Now to do the reset process, so in the earbuds here you can able to see the touch area. In this touch area you need to press and hold for 15 seconds continuously in both these earbuds simultaneously. I am going to do now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you can see that red color light blinks for frequently. So I think five times the red color light is actually blinks. So that is a success indication for the reset completion. So after that, now just to close the case door one time and wait for a few seconds and enable the Bluetooth in your smartphone. And again, open the case door and take the both the earbuds from the case. And it also supported with the Google Fosper. So you can get this dialog box just to click on the connect. So if you are facing like this couldn't connect issue means it's generally coming in some of the devices. So just to click on the settings, it will automatically go to the Bluetooth settings in the available device list. You can see the IQ TWS only just to click to pair. So after paired, you can able to save the uh, you can able to save with the Google Fosper settings. So now the IQ TWS one is connected. Now you can able to get the dialog box of the Google Fosper settings. Just to click on the save. So now it actually saved with the Google Fosper settings so that you can use that uh, uh, Google Fosper settings. Uh, using that you can find the case and earbuds battery percentage of this IQ TWS. So now just hear the audio in both this earbuds. And if you face any connection related problem after reset, the problem will be sorted out. And also there is a general setting option in the Android smartphone. Just to go to the Android settings and search for the accessibility. So here is the accessibility and convenience. And in some smartphone, it will be available under the additional settings. Just to click on this and again click on the accessibility. Now in the accessibility setting page, click on the hearing tab. Now here you can see the channel volume balancing. This one is the common option. In case it might change its means, then you can able to face the issue like only in the left the volume is higher compared to right or in the right uh, volume is higher compared to left. So you can able to face like that issue in case if this pointer towards left or right means. So make sure this pointer is at center. So it's a common option uh, available in all the Android smartphones. So if you still face the issue after the reset process also, just to check out this option as well. And also this IQ TWS one e model supported with the Vivo earphones application, but it's supported only on few brands like Realme, IQ and Vivo smartphones. And I'm in the OnePlus smartphone. Even if I am connected with this application, I can't able to use any other options. So this is also one more thing on this IQ TWS. So if you're facing like this issue means, so if you are can't able to connect with the application for the IQ TWS means, make sure you are using the IQ phone or Realme phone or a Vivo phone. If not, then you can't able to use any features on the Vivo earphones. Well, now that's it on this video guys. Now in this way you can reset the IQ TWS one e model. And in case if you are using the Vivo TWS 3E model also, the process will be same.